I'm every woman. It's all in me. Anything you want them, baby? I've got that from Snake. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jimmy, I'm packing all the essentials for my five-mile commute to work. A wheel? A whole wheel? Yeah, like what What if I can't pump up my flat, so then I'll just put the new wheel on there? That's not how this works. There's an easier way to do this. Well, good thing we're going to talk about that on tonight's episode. Welcome to Learning with Alicia. My name's Alicia Zellner, and I'm the founder of Bike Ride with Black Lives. And for those of you who weren't with us last week or didn't join us for last season, I'd like to introduce you to Jimmy. Hello, I'm Jimmy. All right, Jimmy, show me how it's done. All right, so there are multiple ways to carry the things you need for a bike ride. Whether it's a short ride or a long ride, a commute to work, a trip to the grocery store. I've got a couple examples set up for you here. Not. You can use a backpack, and I'll show you a good example of a way to, to do that. So we're going to scoot that stuff away for now. Yeah, got to go. I feel like they disappoint you all every time. You don't disappoint. You. So a cycling-specific backpack. This is a hydration pack designed to carry water as well as all the essentials you need to go on a ride. Essentials. So last week. We so not about my teddy bear. Not your teddy bear. That's my road bear. If he you, comes everywhere with me. You absolutely have to have it. You're going to go on, a, on an overnight camping trip on your bike? No, commute to work. That's up to you. <laughs> okay. I think you'd be better off just duct taping them to your handlebars. Oh, he would like that. Yeah, okay. Give him some sunshine. So, essentials. Last week we talked about nutrition. Pockets for food, carrot cake, orange chews. Do you have a rabbit in there? No rabbits, not yet. And on the inside, we carry quite a few things. A pump. Not the big pump. Not the big pump. This is still a big pump. It's designed to pump with a what's called a plus size tank. CO2s, CO2 inflator, tire motors. In case you go flat. A few other goodies in here. So last season we briefly spoke about tubeless tires. Yes. Uh, flat tires and how to change those. Some of those tools come back into play. But things you should always have with you. Kind of like having a spare tire and jack in your car. This is the spare tire and jack for your bike. Ah, I see where you're going with this. A little kit in case. Um, you actually do puncture a tubeless tire. Um, if you've ever had a flat tire on your car, at the garage they tend to put a, a tire plug in. Same technology, short down for a bike. Oh. So if you do have a tubeless tire and you do puncture it, you can actually get a little kit like this, plug it right out and keep riding. Not a dollar bill. Not a dollar bill. The dollar bill comes in for non-tubeless setups. Oh. Uh, that is a good thing to have. Food wrappers also work in place of a dollar bill. So if you were to get a cut in your sidewall, you could stuff that right behind the cut, put a tube in there, inflate it, and it'll hold. <laughs> you wastefully have it. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing I carry, um, and this is typically for longer rides, not necessarily for a shorter commute, but a chain tool and a master link. So in the event that I break a chain, uh, typically if, you, if there's a chain failure, you're only going to break one link. Cut it out, replace it with Master Link. And we're actually going to go into detail on this uh, in a couple of weeks. So I'm not going to show you how to use those just yet. Okay. The big one I am going to show you because it applies to everyone on a pretty regular basis is the CO2. That's one we get a lot of questions on. Yep. How on earth do you use the CO2? Is it like helium? Um, we don't take it that way. <laughs> okay. Law enforcement officer. Whoa. <laughs> I... Roger that. <laughs> All right. So, we are going to...
zoom in real quick. Oh, super zoom feature. Super zoom. So I'm going to show you CO2 inflators come in a few different varieties. So, two options for you there. This is the Bontrager Air Rush that we sell here in the store. Very simple, very easy to use. Now, the way this guy's designed, CO2, just a little compressed carbon dioxide, threads onto the bottom here. And what you want to do is thread this on all the way as far as it can go. And what that does is actually punctures the seal on the CO2. Yep, so that's what it looks like closed. If I were to unscrew this now, there'd be a big rush of air, um, then there would be a hole in the canister. So if I'm, before you go further, if mm -hmm. I'm packing this with me, do I want to have it all the way screwed on while I'm just packed, or do I want to just have it lightly screwed on so it's not quite punctured until I need it? Lightly screwed on. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, ideally, you want to carry a few of these with you. Uh, these are typically single use. Uh, you can get these in different sizes, the most common being the 16 gram like this. Um, other option being a 25 gram, which is larger. Um, if you're doing a road tire, for example, the 25 would be more than enough. And you would have, definitely have air left over. If that's the case, that's fine. Just know that if you put that back in your seat pack or one of your bags, you run the risk of it uh, leaking. Okay. So, not the end of the world, just when the next time you need it, maybe empty. So, CO2 is punctured. Assuming you've got you know, your tire, your tube put back into your wheel, uh, press the valve, which if you recall is that little skinny metal valve. Just make sure that's unclipped. And the way the air rush valve works, put that on the tube and then you press. And that inflates. Oh. Or two. Nice and quick. That was super fast. Yep. So if this was in your tire, that would be it. Done. So I could just pack the this rather than the whole tire. So rather than a whole wheel, we've now inflated our tube and used the CO2. Traditionally, folks would use a pump. So. Now you think back 20 years. People would use a pump like this and sit on the side of the trail and pump away. This is absolutely still a good option. Uh, the nice thing about these is uh, they're reusable. They don't go bad. Carry a pump on your bike, um, can't go wrong. Um, larger pumps like this, if you go mountain biking in the wilderness, also good for a little bit of self-defense if you need it. Oh, I can beat a bear? You could. Bear will beat you. But oh. You can fight back. Okay. At least so, for a little while. For a little while. CO2s uh, offer convenience. Uh, they're obviously a lot smaller, easier to carry. Um, just in the long run, you just need to make sure you have spare CO2 cartridges. Okay. So, very simple, very easy. So, uh, I'm assuming then, too, we need to make sure that we have a spare tube, if we yep. have tubes mm -hmm. with us. Um, what are the different ways that we can pack our tubes to take with us? So. Over here, brought my own bike in to show you a few different ways to do that. That's one way right there. So that's our little keg bottle. A um, little Bontrager bottle fits in any water bottle cage. This carries my CO2 and a cartridge, two tire levers, a tube, and then the tool necessary to pull my through axles out of the bike. Oh. So that's everything I need to fix a flat on that bike if I have one. Awesome. So that's my quick and easy for this particular bike. Um, other options, seat packs like this, allow you to do, carry the same things, but obviously give you a little bit more room. Seat bags come in different sizes, so you can go really small. Maybe you just want to carry an ID, a um, couple of coins, maybe just a cell phone. Snack? Carry a snack. You can go larger. This particular one inside has a small pump. Oh, that is tiny. There's a difference. Okay. So, tire, tire.
tire levers, patch kit, and a multi-tool. Oh, this is tiny. Very tiny. But again, only for trail side repair. Okay. So you're not trying to you know, completely disassemble and overhaul your bike on the side of the road. This is for emergencies. Um, it'd be like trying to tune up your car with the tire right side of the trunk. Okay. Not the best thing. Nope. So, <laughs> Never tried it. Uh, Multi-tools, very compact, are designed to give you everything you need to fit 99% of the items on your bike. Everything on your bike is going to be metric. So multi-tools are going to be metric. Uh, four, five, and six millimeter Allen keys are really the essential ones. Um, every multi-tool that we sell, you go to any bike shop, is going to have that. Um, with this, you could actually disassemble this bike with the exception of the chain and pulling the bearings out. I was, like, I was like, where's my chain? <laughs> yeah. With the chain tool, yeah, you can strip this down to a frame pretty easily. Uh, but not the most practical thing. There are better tools for that. Okay. But if you're trail side and maybe you crash, your seat got twisted, handlebar got twisted, this allows you to make that adjustment and keep going. Keeps uh, everything nice and small. Yep. And all of that fits right inside of the seat. Back. Awesome. And there's still room in here, so maybe you drove to the trailhead or carrying your wallet because you're going to stop for lunch. There's still room for that in here. Yep. So when I go for longer rides, which is how my bike is currently set up, I keep my flat repair gear in here. And in my larger bag, I carry uh, my cell phone. I can fit a foot long sub if need be. Uh, <laughs> a burrito? A burrito, two burritos, quite a bit of stuff. And the bag itself is waterproof, so I don't have to worry about anything getting wet. You have more snacks. I've got a U-lock. The best and most efficient lock. So, nice, small, compact U-lock. If I need to stop someplace. Oh, man. That's what you like. More snacks. Patch kits. So, patch kits I tend to carry. I don't tend to patch my own tires. Uh, but I often come across people on the trail side that might need them. That often need them. Look at them. it! So you pack things to save other so, people. Yeah. He's so nice. I'm trying to be nice. Help <laughs> well, people out. Give them a patch kit and spare CO2. More and there's still plenty of room in here for more stuff. Um, this is typically if I'm going to take off for a few hours, or if I know I'm going to stop at a store, I need to pick up a few things. Okay. If I run downtown to the spice shop, grab some goodies. There's room in here, so I don't have to have bags hanging off. Right. Yep. So, what other on bike essentials are necessary? Necessary, definitely front and rear lights. Oh, yeah, that's a, uh, we talked a about, law. We talked about safety, uh, but definitely oh. daytime running lights. Oh, uh, daytime running lights. Yep. So, everybody thinks of lights as a nighttime item. Uh, that's not necessarily the case. Um, Trek actually spent uh, a lot of time and money researching developing daytime running lights, uh, similar to what you have on, on cars now. Okay. It's not going to stop an accident, but it definitely reduces your risks. It makes you visible. So what I've done with this bike, I've got a daytime running headlight and tail light, as well as some high, visible, high visibility bar tape. People can see me a little better. Um, the lights obviously still work at night, light things up just fine. Uh, but allow me to ride, stay safe, stay visible. The only other thing that I have on here that is not necessary, but definitely comes in handy, is a GPS computer. Uh, those days when I'm feeling adventurous, decide to go up into the hills, not sure where I'm going, don't have a plan, uh, this gets me home. Okay. Uh, just hit that, you know, return to start, and that can guide me back home. Uh, it also keeps track of the ride, so if you want to know how far you rode, just like a cycling computer, keeps track of all that data as Does well. Does it talk to you like Samuel Jackson? This particular you went wrong! Person, <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> wrong turn! Take it back! Yeah. The other thing that um, I would count as essential, and this is something you would have to order online, but a road ID. 
So, you can get these to attach to watch bands. Uh, basically, it's a small little wristband that has your name, pertinent info, emergency contacts. Um, RoadID.com, I believe, is the, web the website where you can custom order these. Different like bands, colors, obviously they're custom made. Uh, quick turnaround, but very good in case of an emergency. Um, I don't leave home without it. This is one of those things, um, you hope you never need it. But if you do, it, 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 it takes nothing to carry it with you. That's awesome. Uh, yep. That would be my only other, gotta have it. Yep. Fantastic. Well, Jimmy, any last minute takeaways for people? Carry the things that you definitely need for a ride. Get, at the bare minimum, the flat repair stuff to carry with you. Small seat pack um, or a little keg bottle. Have those things on you at all times. Um, again, just like having a spare tire and jack in your car, everybody who rides a bike gets a flat. There are no exceptions to that. Um, just comes with, comes with uh, riding a bike. You're going to get a flat. Be prepared. You're awesome. Thanks so much for joining us this week on Learning with Alicia. Next week, stay tuned where we discuss pedals and shoes. We'll see you next time.